Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making Crock Pot Creamy Ranch Corn. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. See that creamy, yummy, ranchy corn goodness? Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are back in my outdoor kitchen here at Camp Ludacris, and we are going to be making some Crock Pot Creamy Ranch Corn corn. So this is a variation of one of my favorite ways to make corn. It's um, our creamy corn recipe. Mikey put a link down below because it's just so yummy. You got to try both of these recipes. Um, Mikey is actually putting um, some chickens over the fire here at camp and making up some um, yummy chickens. So I thought I'd make some corn to go with it. So what you're going to need is two 12 ounce bags of frozen corn a quarter of a cup of butter, an eight ounce block of cream cheese, two tablespoons of sugar, and a ranch dip mix packet. That's it. Well, Mama actually had frozen up some corn with um, Ryder, and so I thought, hey, instead of using the corn from the store, I'm just gonna use Mom's um, fresh frozen corn. Well, Mom's corn already has, between the two bags of corn I'm going to be using, it already has the quarter cup of butter. So you're gonna see me put the corn in. You're going to need to put the corn in and then a quarter of cup of butter if you're using um, the corn from the store. Now, if you do your own freezer corn, then you can, um, you and you have a quarter of a cup of butter already in your freezer corn, then you don't have to worry about putting it in either. So we're just going to throw in the corn and it is still frozen. Get it all out. So you just pop that in there. And I am using a four quart slow cooker. I don't know if I can get the last of it out. There we go. Then I already went ahead and cubed up my um, block of cream cheese. So we're just going to pop that in and kind of put the cream cheese all around. All right, now we're going to put in our dip mix. I hope I can get it open. <laughs> my hands are wet. Oh, part of it just went everywhere, but that's okay. So we're just going to put that down in here and then two tablespoons of sugar. So there's one and two. It's just that easy. All we have to do now is stir it up and get everything combined. And then, um, and it's not going to be perfect because um, you, I mean, it's frozen corn. So whenever you broke up your corn and put it in here, there's gonna be some kind of parts that stick together. You're just going to want, whenever you cook it, you're going to want to check on it occasionally and give it a good stir. So we've got everything mixed in together. That's it. Cover and cook on low for about three to four hours or high for an hour and a half to two hours, stirring occasionally. And we will be back in three, two, and we're back. And so this crock pot, it was the first time that I've ever cooked with this crock pot. So I knew that I needed to watch it very closely and I'm glad I did because it cooks super duper hot. And so I made sure that I stirred it um, pretty frequently and like uh, once every 30 minutes to 45 minutes, my dad's waving at me and trying to distract me because I'm talking with my hands as my guest. And so, but anyway, so this was done at about, um, Oh, an hour and 45 minutes, and it looks amazing. I'm not going to put too much in this bowl because I don't want to um, take all of the corn because everybody's going to want some. So, but here, I will put it up on the spoon so you can see. See that creamy, yummy, ranchy corn goodness? You're going to love it. Mm. 
It's got an awesome savory ta taste. <laughs> I almost said taver. Taste and flavor together. Taver. Hey, maybe that's our new word. Taver. It has an awesome taver. And um, it is just um, the cream cheese and the ranch go together really well. I love that combination. And just that touch of sugar gives it a little bit of sweetness. But <laughs> my dad is still trying to distract me. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Um, and just a little bit of sweetness that mixes in with the savory for just the perfect side dish. This is going to be so good with Mikey's chicken. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to become a part of our Croc Posse family, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button down below. If you would like to know every single time we post a video, hit the bell called the ding -ling. And no matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're